So what's up mga Lodi, welcome back again to my YouTube channel, Wagas TV. For today's video mga Lodi, ating panoorin ang naging bahayag ni PBBM o President Bongbong Marcos sa kanyang first 100 days na panunungkulan. Pero bago po tayo magsimula mga Lodi, at kung gusto nyo ng ganito mga content, pahingi naman ang isang like, subscribes, pakiclick na rin ang notification bell para update po kayo sa mga susunod kong video. Kaya simulan na natin. What would you consider your accomplishments? What are the things that you wish you could have done? And what will you do, if any? What will you do differently? Well, um, I would say that I, I don't know if you, if I would myself term them as accomplishments. It's very early on um, in, a, in, in, a, in a term. But nonetheless, I think what we have managed to, to do uh, in the first 100 days is put together a government which is functional and which, a very, which has a very, very good idea of what we are, uh, what we are targeting in terms of strict uh, uh, economic targets, for example, in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, not the numbers of growth, the numbers of, uh, uh, of our different, the different uh, measures, the different metrics that we are using for the economy. But beyond that, I think that uh, we still continue to enjoy that the, the unifying force that the elections became. Uh, generally speaking, elections are polarizing. And of course, and even in this case, it was polarizing, but at least a very strong majority made itself felt. And I think that is something that we continue to, to, uh, uh, to use as our foundation. And with that, uh, what the promises that were made during the campaign, for example, that we bring the best and the brightest and we do not look at color in terms of pol political color, uh, I think we have, we have done that. And uh, more importantly, we have galvanized government once again into governing. And to, uh, we, the, the, the one thing I worry about very, very much is coasting. Okay, neto, pwede neto. This, uh, this, uh, we don't really need to attend to this anymore. It's going to be all right. You know, you can all go and have a holiday. Uh, that's what I worry about the most. But we have, so I try very hard to put an impetus into government. Come on, let's go. We need to do these things. We haven't very much time. We haven't very, we have very few, we have very many difficulties. The, we cannot count on other countries to help us in the ways, in ways that they used to be able to help us. So it is up to us. But I think all of, all of those, at least in uh, the higher positions in government, and even slowly it's filtering down to the rank and file, are beginning to feel that no, there is a point to government. There is something that we need to be doing. And this is what, this is the direction we, we, are, being, we are being led in. These are the things that we are going to do. We are going to come, go from here to there. This is why we are doing it. And this is how we are going to get it done. And this is the part that you will have to play if we are going to succeed. That kind of message, I think, has filtered down to not only the elected officials, not only the uh, high officials in government, but to slowly uh, make, our, make the bureaucracy understand, make all our officials understand that uh, we are here to govern, to gov to, as, a, as a government, we are here to govern. We, are, we have been put here to try our best to pull us out of this terrible crisis that we have just been suffering for the last two years. The other, uh, I suppose, we have started the struggle. We were able, I suppose, in the first 100 days, actually the first 60 days, maybe 50 days, we were putting out fires. 
we were we were just trying to make uh, uh, make things work because the suddenly the the problem I'm mean, you're all aware the problem with sugar the pro uh, supply the problem with fertilizer we were having to look to different uh, uh, different what we now refer to as non-traditional sources uh, the uh, Senator Kit just uh, brought up said brought, brought up also this uh, foreign policy between but Ukraine and the Rus and Russia and we, again we take we take a very balanced view because the truth of the matter is uh, we may have to deal with with Russia for fuel for fertilizer for uh, we have to deal find a way to deal with the Ukraine for our feed wheat our corn importation, all of these things, our, uh, our livestock importation, all of these things have now become part of the, of the mix that uh, has made, really, has made the world uh, situation more volatile, more volatile and, and, and more complex than it was before. But we have, as I, again, we have already made it clear where the Philippines stands in all of this, and it is something that I made clear again to the uh, to the other leaders, and I said that uh, uh, we are if, as essentially we are driven by our desire for peace, and uh, all the economic development that we plan and all that we hope to do will come to naught unless there is peace. And so that, I think, that message, and we have played our part in that, uh, that, that touches upon the, the, the question of Senator Kit uh, about the leadership role that, we, that we, need to be, we need to be playing. So, again, I think uh, we have, I remember the first, uh, the time, the first time I heard this question, what, did, what was, was before, was during the campaign, what will you do in your first uh, 100 days? And I said, well, the first 100 days will be finding the best and the brightest to help and to serve in government. I think that we have managed to do that. Ngayon mga Lodi, napanood nyo na ang naging pahayag ni PBBM o President Bongbong Marcos sa kanyang first 100 days na panunungkulan. Anong masasabi niyo mga Lodi sa naging performance ni President Bongbong Marcos nitong first 100 days ng kanyang panunungkulan? Comment down below naman mga Lodi. Bago po tayo magtapos mga Lodi, kung nagustuhan niyo ang ating tinalakay, pahingi naman ng isang like, subscribes, pakiclick na rin ang notification bell para update po kayo sa mga susunod kong video at maaari din kayo magpa-shoutout. Maraming salamat mga Lodi. Hanggang sa susunod na video, pagpalaip po kayo ng Panginoon.